Paano nga ba maging licensed real estate broker? Ating talakayin sa video na ito ang mga requirements, proseso, at mga tips ko na rin sa pagiging licensed real estate broker. Hi, my name is Marty Hernandez. I'm a licensed real estate broker since 2016. I do house tour videos and give real estate tips. So if you're interested about those topics, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I also have another YouTube channel for my tech reviews, phone unboxings, and my personal vlogs. So kung interesado kayo doon, make sure to check my other channel, Coco Martech. Simulan natin sa eligibility requirements. Ano ba yung mga kondisyon para ikaw ay payagang maging licensed real estate broker? Una, dapat ikaw ay isang Filipino citizen. Pero paano malalaman kung ikaw ay isang Filipino citizen? According to the Section 1, Article 4 of the 1987 Constitution, which enumerates who are the citizens of the Philippines. Number one is those who are citizens of the Philippines at the adoption of this constitution. Number two, those whose fathers or mothers are citizens of the Philippines. Number three, those born before January 17, 1973 of Filipino mothers who elect Philippine citizenship upon reaching the age of majority. And number four, those who are naturalized in accordance with the law. Ang ating Filipino citizenship ay base sa Yusang Guinness Principle which is binabase ang ating citizenship or blood relationship sa ating magulang. Ang mga usual pang tanong kung sino pa yung mga pwede maging licensed real estate broker ay yung mga naturalized citizen. Kapag sinabing naturalized citizen, kinoconsider ka na as a Filipino citizen, so pwede sila. Next ay yung mga Pilipino may dual citizenship. Ang mga Pilipino merong dual citizenship ay pwedeng maging licensed real estate broker. Kailangan lang nila mag-submit ng Certificate of Recognition as Filipino Citizen from the Bureau of Immigration and a photocopy of the Philippine Passport or Certificate of Dual Citizenship. Paano naman yung mga foreigners? Pwede ba sila maging licensed real estate broker? Pwede rin pero meron tayong tinatawag na foreign reciprocity. Ayon sa Section 24 of the RESA Law or the Real Estate Service Act Law, no foreign real estate service practitioner shall be admitted to the licensure exam or be given a certificate of registration or a professional identification card or be entitled to any privileges under the Act unless the country of which he or she is a citizen specifically allows Filipino real estate service practitioners to practice within its territorial limits on the same basis as citizens of such foreign country. Meaning, sa bansang pinanggalingan ng foreigner, dapat pwede mag-practice ng real estate din ang mga Pilipino doon para maging eligible yung foreigner na yun makakuha ng licensure exam or maging licensed real estate broker dito sa Philippines. And of course, meron din mga requirements na kailangan isubmit para payaga mag-practice ng real estate services ang mga foreigners dito. Ilalagay ko lahat ng requirements and mga links na kailangan sa description below. Para sa mga foreigners, kailangan din nila kumuha ng mga special temporary permits and magbayad ng insurance. And yung mga ibang requirements, ilalagay ko ulit sa description. Bukod sa pagiging Filipino citizen, ano po ba yung mga eligibility requirements na kailangan? Dapat meron din siyang good moral character and dapat wala siyang records ng criminal convictions. Kailangan din at least 18 years old and dapat meron kang degree ng BS Real Estate Management. Yung requirement na kailangan ng degree in Real Estate Management, lately lang na-approve yan and trivial lang. 2016 ako nag-exam and kasama ako sa last batch na hindi na kailangan kumuha ng BS Real Estate Management. Kung curious kayo sa aking course, ako yung nagtapos ng BS in Computer Science. Yung BS Real Estate Management, 4-year course yon pero kung kukunin mo siya as a second degree, may mga makikredit naman na unit sa'yo so may mga possibility na maging 3 years na lang or 2 years depende sa mga makikredit na units. Ano ba yung mga schools ngayon na nag-offer ng BS Real Estate Management? Paano pala kung meron ng PRC ID? Kunwari, isa kang doktor, isa kang engineer, architect, kailangan pa rin bang kumuha ng BS Real Estate Management? Yes, kailangan pa rin. So, kunwari, nakapagtapos ka na ng BS Real Estate Management, kailangan mo na mag-submit ng application form sa PRC para makakuha ng permit for the licensure exam. Pwede nyo rin makuha ang application form sa prc.gov.ph. Ito naman yung mga required documents para makapag-exam.
Ang tips ko naman sa pagkuha ng exam ay be early, dapat maaga kayo dumating sa location. Dapat maganda rin yung tulog nyo bago mag-exam. Dapat medyo relax din kayo kasi mahirap mag pag tense. Dapat familiar din kayo sa location na exam nyo. Try nyo mga days before puntahan nyo na yung examination venue nyo para hindi kayo maligaw. And of course, dapat mag-review pa rin kayo. Yung paglabas ng results ng exams, mga around 3 to 50 days, makikita nyo mga list of names ng passers sa PRC website. Ang coverage naman ng real estate broker exam ay documentation and registration, fundamentals of property ownership, real estate brokerage practice, legal aspects of sale, mortgage, and lease, subdivision development, condominium concepts, and other types of real estate holdings, Planning, Development, and Zoning, Code of Ethics and Responsibilities, Legal Requirements for Real Estate Practice, Real Estate Finance and Economics, Basic Principles of Ecology, Urban and Rural Land Use, Real Property Laws and Taxation. So based from my experience, yung coverage ng exam, huwag kayong magugulat kung may mga questions na hindi related sa real estate kasi marami pa rin general knowledge. Huwag nyo rin kalimutan dalhin yung Notice of Admission kasi nandun nakalagay na kayo ay dapat mag-exam talaga sa araw na yon. Mailing envelope, pencil, black ball pen, long brown envelope, and transparent envelope. Ang PRC ID pala ay may 3 years of validity so kailangan nyo mag-renew every 3 years. Pero huwag kayong maglala, mas madali mag-renew kasi may online process na. So sa renewal ng PRC ID, pwede nyo i-process online and then puntahan nyo na lang sa PRC yung ID nyo para kunin mismo yung ID. Kung nakapasa na kayo ng real estate broker exam, makakakuha kayo ng PRC Certificate at PRC ID. And yung PRC Certificate, kailangan yung i-post sa office nyo. So, yun ang step sa pagiging licensed real estate broker dito sa Philippines. Kung mayroon ako mga hindi na-discuss, uh, comment down below. And kung may mga questions kayo, of course, comment down below para ma-address natin in the next video. Kung binabalak nyo rin maging licensed real estate broker, comment down below kung bakit yun yung naisipan yung career path. And of course, kung natulungan ko kayo sa video na ito, make sure to give it a like or a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more real estate videos. Again, my name is Marty Hernandez, licensed real estate broker, and I'll see you in my next video. Eligibility. 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 Tama ba? Hey Google, how do you pronounce eligibility? Ang ating Filipino citizenship. Ang ating Filipino citizenship. Citizenship. Ang ating Filipino citizenship. Citizen. Ang ating Filipino citizenship. So, yung BS Real Estate Management 4-year course yun. Pero kung kukuha ka ng sec... Yung BS... Yung BS Real Estate Management 4-year course siya. Pero kung second degree mo na to, may mga may ka-credits... <coughs> So kung nakapasa, so kung napaka, kung nakapasa na nakapasa. So kung nakakuha, nakakuha. And marami rin general knowledge. So may mga ma-encounter kayong questions na hindi related sa real estate. Kaya huwag kayong magugulat kung tinanong kung ilan ang mga between sa mundo. Between sa mundo. 